is Victor Wembanyama, and he has a real shot at becoming the NBA GOAT. But before he does any of that, he needs some teammates to help him along the way. So today we are going to be using the wheel to help pick his team. Now guys, this is the wheel right here on your screen that is going to help build Victor this team. There's a lot of good things and there's a lot of bad things on this wheel as well. We are going to use this wheel to help build Victor his championship team. And if we don't win a ring at the end of this video, we are going to have to give away a Wembanyama jersey to one of you guys. So stay tuned. Let's jump into it and let's hope we can win this man a ring. Now guys, on top of all that, we are not going to be playing against just any teams. We are going to be playing against all-time teams. So we're going to be playing against some of the best teams in NBA history to win Victor the ring. And I'm not going to lie, man, I'm a little bit nervous for this. It's something new that we're trying out and we need to build this man a good team in order to secure this W. So guys, before we add any of his teammates, we are obviously going to have to add the main man himself. The seven foot four Victor Wembanyama is going to be on the team. He's already a 94 overall and it makes sense. If you've watched him hoop, you know why. Let's go ahead and get to the teammates though. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see who we're adding first. All right, boys, here we go. The very first spin of the video. I'm hoping for something good right off the rip. Oh my God, we get one of the best ones. I'm not going to lie. This is going to get me hyped up right here. First overall pick. We could add anybody that was a first overall pick into the team. We could go with a lot of players right here. Now, boys, obviously we could go with the obvious choices here. We could go with somebody like LeBron. We could pair him up with Tim Duncan or Shaq. Even Dwight Howard maybe have two bigs. We could also go with Allen Iverson, but I'm going to go with something a little bit different. I want to see this duo play together, so let's go ahead and add this man. And yes, boys, the first overall pick that we're going for is Kyrie Irving. I just want to see these two on the basketball court at the same time. I feel like Wembat is like a 7'4 Kyrie. I don't know why. The man just has handles. And I want to see this duo play together. So get on me in the comment section about not picking LeBron or Shaq. Listen, man, I just want to see this duo hoop. And we got a lot more spins to go. So we might land it again. Let's get back to the wheel, though, and pick teammate number three out. All right, boys, let's give the wheel another spin. I'm hoping we keep getting good things because so far it's definitely been very good. And we get Wembat favorite. Hey, this is another pretty good one because we're going to go with one of his favorite players of all time. And there's actually three choices that we could go with. And I'm going to pick one of them. Now, boys, there are three players that Wembanyama is a fan of. I'm going to go ahead and play the clip for you guys so you guys can see who he actually mentions because obviously we know he's a fan of Tony Parker. We're not going to go with him since we already have a point guard. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see this clip and then we're going to decide who we take. Player, our players that you watch and say, I want to be like yeah. that. Uh, the players I look up most to are Giannis and KD. So, boys, you probably heard him. He doesn't really look up to anybody, but if you had to pick two of his favorite players, it would be Giannis and Kevin Durant. And KD and Kyrie have already played together. I don't want to put them on the same team again and cause problems. So, we're going to go ahead and add Giannis and Tzakumpo onto the team with Wemba Nyama. Good luck pronouncing these guys' last names if you're a commentator. Hey, this team is looking stacked already. All right, boys, spin number three. Come on, we need to land something good again. So far, our luck has been good, and we get loyal. Listen, man, we got to go with somebody who has played for one franchise their entire career right here. This is an easy choice again. Now, oh, boys, we could have gone with Dirk Nowitzki. We could have even gone with Kobe Bryant or somebody like Klay Thompson or Steph Curry, but today we are going with somebody that is probably better than all those guys combined, and we are going with the 42-year-old Udonis Haslam. Now, listen, bro, this man spent like 20 years with the Heat, we need somebody that's a veteran that'll put the players in check if they get kind of crazy. So UD, welcome to the team, bro. Guys, this is the roster so far. I feel like this roster is actually looking pretty good. We obviously have UD on the team. So, I mean, we should be able to win a championship no matter what. All right, guys, let's give the wheel another spin. Let's see what else we're going to get. We've been getting pretty good things so far. And of course, as soon as I mentioned that, we get one of the worst things on the wheel. We get a draft bust. This is not going to be good. Now, guys, I'm not going to lie. I could have gone a lot of directions. I could have gone with Anthony Bennett, maybe even Greg Oden, Sam Bowie, somebody like that from, you know, a long time ago. But we are going with somebody who I am personally disappointed in because I thought he would be a lot better than he was. Josh Jackson. This man was a hooper and unfortunately never lived up to the hype in the NBA. He's still a pretty solid player, but we are going to add him because we need a forward and honestly, he pretty much fits the team. So why not? All right, boys, here we go. Yet another spin. Give us something good. You just gave us something bad. Now give us something good. I will take that. U21, which means we need to pick a player that is under 21 years old because Wembat's young. So why not pair him up with another young star? Boys, I have to do it, bro. 19-year-old Paulo Banchero is getting teamed up with Victor Wembanyama. This team is looking good so far. But keep in mind, we are going to be playing some of the best teams in NBA history. So we got to build a really, really good team in order to compete. All right, guys, I don't know what number spin this is, but we're getting pretty deep into the team. The team is looking solid so far, and right here we get second round pick. Now listen, the obvious choice would be Jokic, but I feel like that's just too easy. We're not going to go with him. 
You know what, boys? We're going with an all-time San Antonio Spur, a Hall of Famer, and NBA champion, Manu Ginobili, who got drafted 57th overall out of Argentina. So we are going to go ahead and add his prime version into the team. I'm not going to lie. This is a perfect, perfect fit beside Wembanyama, and he's coming back to San Antonio. Young Manu, welcome to the team. Boys, this is going to be like our 7th or 8th spin. I want to get a real superstar right here. So 2K, show me something good. Oh, my God. Is it going to be first pick? No, it is not. We get Frenchman. You guys know what that means. I mean, it's pretty obvious. We got to pick somebody from France. Listen, guys, I was thinking about going for maybe Joakim Noah or Nicolas Batum. Of course I wasn't. We're going with Tony Parker, bro. The greatest French man to ever play in the NBA. We're going to go ahead and assign him to the Spurs. Listen, I need to juice up the team as much as possible because I feel like we're just not there yet. We're not a championship team yet. So Tony Parker's going to help a lot. Welcome to the squad. All right, boys, another spin. I want to add an MVP. I want to add a finals MVP 2K. Show me something good. Oh, my God. That's probably one of the worst things you could get on this wheel. Under 70, which means we got to take somebody under a 70 overall. This, this literally cannot be good. Boys, we're going with the Miami Heat player, Haywood Highsmith. He actually played pretty solid in the playoffs for the Heat. So I'm just going to go ahead and add him into the team. He is a 70 on the dot, which means we can add him. I'm not going to lie. He's not going to do much for our team, but... Hey, man, we like the vibes. Real quick, guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, hit that subscribe button, man. We are getting very close to 80K, and we're trying to hit it soon. All right, boys, another spin. 2K, show me a pack. Or not 2K, but the wheel. I need a pack. Oh, my God, no. No. No! We have to remove Giannis, bro. Oh, Giannis is our best player, and we're going to have to get rid of him. Oh, my God, man. Well, boys, the very worst thing on this wheel, we're going to have to go ahead and get rid of Giannis. We're just going to release him into free agency. And just like that, our team looks a lot worse than it is. All right, man, we need to land something on this wheel now. We really, really desperately need a star player to add to the team. We get undrafted. I mean, this could be solid, but there really isn't a lot of undrafted players we could go with. You know what, boys? We need a backup point guard. We're going with my undrafted king, Fred Van Fleet, one of the greatest undrafted players of all time. Yes, I said that. We could have gone with Moses Malone, but... We're going with Freddie V, man. I'm sorry. He knows what it takes to win a championship, and we're going to go ahead and add him into the team. All right, guys, another spin. We need a star player. We do not have what it takes to win a championship with the current team that we have, and we get... Okay, we get FIFA pack. I thought we were going to get a retro pack. I didn't even have MT on old 2K, so I would have to make it work, but... FIFA pack, here we go. Let me show you guys how this works. Guys, right, this one is going to be real simple. We are going to open up this pack right here, and whatever overall player we pull in FIFA, we have to get the same overall player in 2K to add to Wembat's team. But boys, here goes nothing. I'm hoping for something good. I'm hoping for 90 plus because realistically, all the NBA stars are 90 rated and higher. We get a German goalkeeper, and that is going to be an 83. We're going to have to find a solid, you know, NBA player that's an 83 rated. So, boys, from that FIFA pack, we ended up pulling an 83, which means we're going to add Scotty Barnes because he's an 83. Another young player tied into this team. I don't know if we are championship material yet, but we're slowly getting there. All right, boys, we're going to spin again. Listen, I need finals MVP. I don't want to see nothing else but finals MVP. No, this is literally two bad ones in a row. We get Bricklayer. We got to pick somebody they can't shoot. Matter of fact, you know what? I know the perfect way to make this a good one. Now, guys, in order for a player to be considered a bricklayer, he needs to have a 63 pointer or under. And I know the perfect player that we're going to pick. And no, he is not trash. Listen, guys, this man has a 26 rated three ball. Prime Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the team. Is it fair? I don't know, but I'm not asking. I'm trying to win a ring right here, bro. No GMs take it fair. So we're going to go ahead and add him to the Spurs. Imagine Wembat and Shaq, bro. That front court is disgusting. All right, boys, this is one of the last spins. We need something good. We need something really good. Matter of fact, yes. Stop. Oh my God, we get finals MVP. That's probably the best thing on this wheel. We have a wide variety of choice right here. We could go LeBron. We could go to Jokic. We could go to Michael Jordan, but we're going with somebody special. Guys, I'm looking at the team right now and we are missing a solid small forward. And I know the perfect player he used to play for the San Antonio Spurs. You probably already guessed it, but listen, you already probably guessed it, but it is fun, guy. I'm taking the best version of himself, which is the Toronto Raptors one. So we're going to go ahead and add Kawhi back to the Spurs. And now all of a sudden, this team is looking like a favorite for a championship. All right, boys, I believe this is the last spin with the wheel. So give us one last good teammate. Oh, my God, no, bro. We get a 60 overall. I mean, it's self-explanatory. Boys, unfortunately, you literally cannot go to 60 overall. So I'm just going to go ahead and assign a G League player to the San Antonio Spurs. This man is not going to help us at all. Apart from warming the bench, he won't be doing much. So welcome to the team, whoever I just added. I don't even know his name. I mean, he's going to get a chance at a ring. All right, boys, this is the very last spin of the wheel. Let's see if we can end off with a banger. We get a trader. Please land on Trader. Okay, it did land on Trader. This means the player had to have betrayed their former team. And I mean, hey man, this was named after a specific player. And it's one of Wembat's favorite players. So we might as well go with him. Listen, boys, we're going with the dude who basically, you know, ran away from his team. He ran from the grind. He's the opposite of Damian Lillard. He is Kevin Durant. We're going to go ahead and add him into the team as the final player 
and I feel like now all of a sudden this team is looking really good and we're looking like championships favorites let me go ahead and make the lineup real quick let me show you guys what the starting lineup looks like and let's get into the season but boys I have finalized the team and this is what it looks like we got Tony Parker we got Kawhi on the starting lineup we got KD Wembanyama and Shaq we got Kyrie and Manu off the bench I'm not gonna lie bro it's looking real good, but let me show you guys some of the teams we're playing against. Boys, these are some of the teams we're playing against. We obviously have the, you know, 01 Lakers in here. We have the 16, 17 Warriors. We have the Houston Rockets that won a championship. We got a lot of great teams, 11, 12 Thunder. Even in the East Coast, as you guys can see, we got some of the best teams of all time. So this is not going to be an easy road to a ring. But let's hope we can secure this championship with Wembanyama so we do not have to give away that jersey. Guys, we are at the end of the season in Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron James won an MVP. Listen, we don't care about that. We're just here for the rings. Victor won Rookie of the Year. Those stats are very underwhelming, but I mean, he had to share the court with like five of the greatest players of all time. Some of our other players, Manu also won Sixth Man of the Year. We'll take that 15 off the bench. is pretty solid. And Shaq, which isn't actually our player because he is on the Magic, as you guys can see, won Defensive Player of the Year, putting up those outrageous numbers. But guys, the good news is we had a record of 77-5. and five. These are the only five teams we lost to. I'll show them on the screen right now. I know we lost to the Warriors twice, which is a little bit concerning because they are in our conference. We also lost to like the Raptors. Listen, man, let's just get to the playoffs and win this ring. Guys, we are clearly the number one seed, and we are playing the eighth seed Phoenix Suns, the 0405 Phoenix Suns. This team is solid, but I'm not going to lie. This should be a sweep. Boys, and like I said, it is going to be a very easy sweep. But the thing is, we are playing the Thunder, who also swept their series. And boys, this Thunder team, I mean, you guys probably remember this. One of the best young teams. And then you got Kendrick Perkins on the team, too. Let's not talk about him. But Westbrook, Harden, and KD, their team is stacked. But our team is better. We also have Kevin Durant. So I'm not really too worried, bro. As we take the first two games, we also take game three. This might be another sweep, and yes, it is. And boys, this is going to be our Western Conference Finals matchup. We got the 16-17 Warriors, which are absolutely broken. Look at that team. Well, you know what, bro? Tony Parker against Steph. I'll take that matchup. Kawhi is definitely better than Clay. KD and KD are even. Wembanyama is definitely better than Draymond. And then Shaq is going to destroy JaVale McGee. So here we go. We should be able to get to the finals. All right, boys, here we go. Game one. We take that, thankfully. Game two, we also take that. A great lead. Can we finish it off? Yes, we can. There's no way we blow a 3-0. We sweep the Warriors, and we are headed to the NBA Finals. Boys, in the NBA Finals, who else, bro? The 95-96 Bulls. What do I got to say, bro? 99 overall, Michael Jordan. If he beats us, I can't even be mad. All right, guys, here we go. Game one is going to go to the Spurs, which is us. Game two is also going to go to us. Game three is going to go to us. We might have a flawless run, bro. We might go 16-0 all the way to a championship. I'm not gonna lie, I try to make it more difficult for myself. I put the best version of every NBA team into the league to try to make it even harder. And unfortunately, we're about to sweep the entire league. Boys, just like that on the Bulls home court, we become NBA champions, champions of the world. Victor Wembanyama and this team that the wheel built him. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably one of the best teams that, you know, we have actually built through one of these videos. You guys can see right there on the bench. I think that's Shaq crying, which is, you know, pretty funny to see. Boys, there's the main man right there, bro. Victor Wembanyama is going crazy. He's hyped too. And boys, you guys can see right there, bro. We are NBA champions once again. And of course, okay, actually, that's a little bit surprising. We got Shaq with the finals MVP, 26, 10, and 2 a game with two blocks and almost two steals. Pretty impressive from that man right there. But listen, we got Wemby his ring. We pretty much completed the challenge, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video, man. Let me know what video you're trying to see next, and I'll see you then. Peace.